For tonight's round of trivia, we have questions Josh Bauer would ask. <laughs> No, it's not water. <laughs> now, I know 
I'm wearing a watch. I know how long five minutes is. But, but it seems some people don't. Five minute water break! <laughs> 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 now, I'm sure you all watch TV. If you don't, there's something seriously wrong with you. So, we're going to do a couple commercials. Now, here's, here's one you might have known. If you went to Central last year, you know that Bennett Hartley always did these on the announcements. I present to you the Allstate Mayhem commercial. The marching band edition. I'm a marching band member, and right now, I don't know what I'm doing. Band <laughs> 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 rest is timely, and if you practice 30 minutes or more a day, you can be better prepared for mayhem like me. <laughs> <laughs> Some have catchy jingles like 1 800. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So these are things you remember, but they're not always numbers. They're not always things that have to do with calling people. Sometimes they're just really funny quotes like, uh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I called that one.
there's a bunch of cars in the parking lot, and they're all tired. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Did you guys hear about the kidnapping? No. no. He slept for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, time flies like an arrow, and fruit flies like a banana. Oh. <laughs> Got sticks now too. 
I got a 1500 pound horse to do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've been stalling. But now, everything is in line. Now we can proceed on with the show, and I can stop sweating. But on a very serious note now. We've all been sitting, watching a funny movie. Maybe the other guys. Yeah. Maybe the Blues Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Forrest Gump. Yeah. yeah. But you know, whenever that one commercial comes on, <laughs> we always just can't stand it anymore. Fiddles, fiddles. Keep out! <laughs> no sleep, no food, stop jumping your people, and little to minimal water breaks. <laughs> they don't know what to do. Of your health, please call the number at the bottom of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Pernick. <laughs> Honestly, you can't go anywhere and not see one of these things. <laughs> They're haunting my dreams. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you back to yesterday's, and by yesterday's I mean December. There was arguably a movie that came, I don't call it a movie, I call it a monstrosity. But there was a movie that came out in December. Oh, I'm doing the Ely thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand still now. <laughs> yes, that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> so, if you may or may not know, I'm into musicals. Big time. Like, really big time. Really? Shut up! <laughs> and... My favorite musical of all. They made a movie of this December. And a lot of people said, oh, what a good movie. Look at, look at, look at Hugh Jackman. Look at Anne Hathaway. And then there's Russell Crowe. We don't talk about him. I swear to God. <laughs> That's a kick, not a punch. But I know what my hands and feet are. <laughs> And this movie, it destroyed my heart. But now, we are going to do something from this movie. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the French musical written in the 80s, on Broadway in the 90s, off Broadway in the 2010s, back on Broadway next year, and made into the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking with me through all this time. And now it is time to introduce our finale, Blame Is. Do you 
hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men. It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drum.